insane colors we have on this pond. Here, we're gonna be turning this thing into a freaking dream pond. Ah, there we go. Wow, check this out. You can get right in there. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo. What a beautiful day it is today to build some dream ponds. Man, I'm telling you guys, if I was staying here, I would make this a pond. It was like a waterfall coming off the roof, down and out with an overflow like out into the street. That'd be pretty sick. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Look at all the packing that's been going on, the sorting. There is literally stuff everywhere. We got the 1100 gallon pool pond that you haven't seen in a long time. We got the wooden pond. We got tanks on top. We have the 150 gallon pond. We have the feeder tanks. It's crazy. I have most of the water drained out of this pond right here. We're gonna be turning this thing into a freaking dream pond for these super colorful fish. This is gonna be sick. So what's going on on Conventional Fame? I'm so glad you guys tuned in today. So this is a 150 gallon pond. I've drained the water really far down, over halfway down, and uh, we're gonna give this pond a new life, make it a dream pond for these fish. These fish are actually not coming with me. When I move, they're gonna either be donated to my LFS or a few awesome supporters that live here near me. But I gave myself a budget of $20. Could we spruce this pond up for $20 and make it a dream pond? So what I did was I picked up one of these Smart Pond Container Fountain Kits. Yes, a container fountain kit. I'm not using this for surface agitation with these fish. Agitation, I'm using it for visual appeal. It was 20 bucks. This consumed my $20 budget. But I have a lot of plastic plants laying around and I think some of these really bright greens looking down from the top will really spruce this thing up. So let's get going on this thing. I'm stoked. All right. Just gotta go through here, guys. We need some extra light. So who's gonna be in Aquashella this weekend? Let me know, guys. I might actually be able to make it to Aquashella. As a lot of you guys are familiar with, ironically, somehow, some way, it is so weird, I am going to be in Dallas, Texas, 10 minutes from Aquashella uh, this, in, this coming entire weekend. I leave on Thursday. And it looks like on Sunday that I may actually have some free time to be able to swing by Aquashella, meet some of you guys, which will be super sick. Got our Jack Dempsey in here hiding behind these rocks. This sand is actually coming out. That's gonna be another super sick video, kind of just show you what you can do with these fish and transform them. But let's go knock this pond out. What'd you find? A mosquito. A mosquito? Yeah. Crazy. We got Miss UA picking some weeds. <laughs> <laughs> Miss UA is crazy, guys. That woman is always doing something. It is wild. It is wild. We got water changes on the feeder tanks today. We got a lot of stuff to do, but I am super stoked to tackle this pond. But check out what I just found over here. Look, I'm all about like nature. I love it. But when it comes to freaking black widows, your boy gets a little freaked out. But guys, I want to show you some of the insane colors we have in this pond. Look at that super red empress right there. Uh, just off to the left of your screen. There we go. We got that sunshine down there. We have a red shoulder hybrid right there. Uh, we have a Fusco right there. A Bupochromus nototania. We're gonna try and look at that Maylandi sulfur head. This thing's sick. There is some super colorful, super high-end African cichlids in this pond right here. And here you can get a really nice top down. We have a light on so you can get a better view. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus everything on this fountain. We're gonna get the fountain in first because that's gonna kind of be like the centerpiece of everything. All right, we're, we're getting this fountain undocked. Gotta get this zip tie off. Ah, there we go. So what's actually super sick about this fountain, guys, here's the main box right here. This houses the pump and everything. This is a small 70 gallon per hour pump, but what's pretty cool, maybe I should read the directions on how to pull this off before I just start yanking. But what's pretty cool is there's actually sponges all the way around in here. So it doubles as a filter. I didn't realize that. That's pretty sick. Another cool feature on this thing is this plug. Okay, this fountain's actually made for pots. You know, so you know how the pots have the drain hole through the bottom? You can plug this up through the drain hole, your fountain sits right, it's, it's like perfect. We're definitely gonna be uh, using this in the, in the future once I move, making some little pot ponds. This thing's gonna be pretty sick, pot ponds. Ponds out of pots, I should say. 
but the thing's pretty sick. Super heavy duty cord for 20 bucks. Comes with three different nozzles to make the desired flow pattern that you want. This thing is pretty cool. So let me get this thing put together and uh, we'll get it put in. Ah, that's how it comes off. Check that out, guys. Nice little piece of coarse foam there surrounding the pump. That is pretty sweet. So we'll get a little bit of extra filtration out of this. That's always good. This is probably the point in time where I should be uh, reading instructions on this. Quite honestly, I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Okay, guys, so I have the pump assembled here, but I have this flow pattern. I don't know what it is, so we're gonna plug it in and find out. Let's do it. I got you over the pond right now. I think this will be the best view to give you kind of um, a view of where you're at. This little pump right here is dead center of the pond. This is right about where we're gonna be placing this pump. Now, this is just our rough draft, guys. This is just the testing phase. So once we get it where we want it, once we get the flow that we want, we will then go in and uh, do the beautification, get the cords where we want them. I just wanna see how this flow pattern on this pump works. Let's fire up the switches here. Let me lean over and see. Whoa! Check that out. That's pretty cool, guys. That is uh, that is pretty cool. Look how it's just like, it almost doesn't even look real. It's like a little bubble. That's pretty sick. We got some typical African cichlid aggression going on here. But that's typical. You know African cichlids, they're looking at this freaking pump right now, this waterfall, and they're like, no, bro, that's my pump. No, bro, that's my pump. Wow, check this out. So I actually just messed with that tip a little bit and got that freaking spread even wider. That's pretty amazing. I, I kind of like that. Now, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like that tip? Like, I'm at the point where I'm about to not even try any other tips. I just like that effect. Like, it's right through the top of it it's like crystal clear like that's sick okay time to move on to phase two which is let's give these guys a little bit of food because they're being little d heads right now to each other so let's calm this place down with some food all right all right let's settle this feud here with some food let's put it right there there you go look at them look guys african cichlids are pretty fun to watch eat Look at these colors. Look at the Fusco. Like the Fusco is hogging the food right now. Are you serious, bro? All right, here we go. Big top down shot. Let's spread some all the way across. There you go, guys. Look at that. Blue right there. Who is that? Oh, that's our uh, red empress right there. But I kind of like this idea of bringing the rocks into one centralized pile. I kind of like that. Uh, man, they've really pushed this crushed coral around. This is all crushed coral in the bottom here. I think getting some green in here is really gonna set this thing off. Cause I really like these little grassy bushes. They, um, I don't know, they just, I like them. I like the way they look. I think they look really good in ponds. It's a minnow frenzy, minnows, minnows, minnow. I added about 80 pounds of crushed coral to the uh, bottom of this pond. Was I needed a deeper substrate to be able to bury uh, the little plates in these uh, these fake plants. So I'm gonna get these situated. We're gonna bring them. Got Misty Way mowing the lawn. It, once we fill it to the desired level is when we're really gonna get to see like the dream pond effect for these fish. Before we add any more plants or adjust anything, is get this thing topped off, get this pump set since this is kind of the main showpiece and uh, move on. So we have the water level up right about where I want it. I like to keep some space here because African cichlids will jump. You wanna stick your finger in there? It's cool, huh? I'm gonna reposition these plants back here and I kind of like this uh, blank viewing area up front you know for like feeding time and stuff like that that'd be pretty cool see I like that I like how they stick out and then add some smaller plants right here on the end like these little seaweedy type plants these look pretty cool and maybe get these over here on the end so guys I'm really digging this pond I'm really digging the, the new setup you know this $20 upgrade really did just kind of set things off in my opinion I really love it the fish are loving it they're all swimming around I've noticed less and less aggression they're just exploring everything it's super super nice all right guys so we got a little bit more clarity here in the cichlid pond you guys can put your diving gear on and get right in there
So guys, as you can see, these beautiful, colorful fish are really digging this little indoor dream pond that they got. Um, a lot of new rock work, changed it up, added some green, added this sweet little fountain, guys. 20 bucks, you can't beat that. It has all different kinds of features and even acts as a small filter. So um, I need to get some more crushed coral to bury this. I need to let this cord relax for a day or two. But these guys are loving it. It's super calm in here. I'm stoked. What do you guys think about it? Again, very cheap pond build really overall um, if you remember I got this 150 gallon towed at tractor supply on sale I, I want to say I paid 80 bucks maybe for it I don't remember how much I paid for it but ponds are very simple they're very easy to build and they just look so awesome I hope you enjoyed that new dream pond build we have tons of sick stuff coming up even as we approach this move I'm gonna keep pressing forward until the day we move which i'm still going to be pressing forward after that videos on the new jack dempsey coming up with naming him and everything like that but a lot of good stuff coming up guys thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to the new patreon supporters by the way just got those email notifications i've been meaning to bring that up thank you so much and uh guys i'll see you on the next one